going to show you how to cook kidney. Okay, we're doing one teaspoon of adobo. Okay. Okay, and we're doing a little pinch of complete. Okay, now we're adding two sticks of green onion. Okay. And one whole onion. We do using four pegs of garlic. And we're gonna cut them up into small pieces. Okay. And now we're adding half of bell pepper. Okay. Okay, and pretty much that's how it looks. Now we're gonna get ready to start cooking it. Now we're gonna add two spoon of butter just to put for flavor in and to keep the pot from sticking at the bottom of the pot. It's always better when you use a dust pot when you're cooking certain things because it's gonna add flavor. Non-stick pot don't, it works as well, but to me a cast iron or a dust pot does add flavor. My opinion. So that's the butter. Okay, now we're gonna put them in. Okay, now we're gonna mix it around to make sure everything is distributed equally. Okay, now we're stirring it to make sure the peppers and onions and everything is distributed over the meat equally. And now we're gonna cover it and cook it for about 20 minutes to make sure it cooks soft and nice. And we're gonna check on it every so often to make sure it's going according to plan okay okay now we're adding just a little dash of thyme for flavoring Caribbean people add thyme in everything so that's for flavor now we're gonna cover it okay here you go this is okay now we're gonna give it a stir okay we're gonna start up okay we're gonna start up right now it is looking good look all the look at all the peppers look at all the flavors look how good it looks And it smells great. And if you're anemic or you're low in blood and stuff like that, this is a great thing to eat. You can mix it with liver. So if you like liver, you definitely like the beef kidney. Now we're finished cooking the kidney. Here we go. We successfully cooked the kidney. Yeah, I can't wait to eat it. Don't forget uh, to like, subscribe, and share. Bye.